In this video, I'm going to expose to you the secrets of the universe. Sounds dramatic, doesn't it? Well, it is pretty dramatic, the secrets of the universe. I'm telling you, it is. Right now, I'm sitting here in my rocking chair doing a rocking chair test. Yeah, heard of the rocking chair test? Yes? No? Okay. Well, secrets of the universe are... One of the, a rocking chair test is one of the secrets. Perception. Perception is a miracle. Our reality is made up of just what we perceive it to be from our beliefs and values, etc. That, that creates our reality. We all have different realities. And so a shift in perception can completely change our reality. And that's a miracle. And that starts to give us a peek into the secrets of the universe. We run this, this timeline, we, we live in, in time. It's right now, but we have a past and a future, right? Well, we perceive ourselves to have a past and a future anyway. So how do we empower our past? How do, how do we let go of the baggage of the past? Quite, quite a, lot of, a lot of the time, a lot of us are carrying along this baggage from the past and it just goes for miles and miles and miles and miles back. And there's a way to let go of all that baggage, you know? You can let go of that baggage by asking a few uh, simple questions, empowering questions. Maybe you did something in the past, you took an action, you made a decision, and you're not proud of it, or, or you screwed up. You screwed up, and your brain's going, oh, every time you think of it, it's like a program running in your head, and every now and again it comes around, like, oh, why did I do that? You know, what an idiot, or, um, you know, and there's regret there. There's regret there about it. You feel this, like, pang of regret. Um, or these other emotions come up, these emotions you don't want. And you ask, why did I do that? And that's a weak ass question. Why did I do that? Why did I, why was I so stupid? Because you are, right? You're a human being going through life and there's no real manual to do it. You're just experiencing it. Life is unfolding. And you just make decisions here and there and you do the best you can. Stop beating yourself up. And it's easy to say, stop beating yourself up. And it's easy to do when you ask the right questions. And the right questions are, when you think back to that situation, that decision you made, that action you took, that thing you said, or that uh, fork in the road and you think you took the wrong fork, you can't take the wrong fork. When you look back and you ask the question, take a deep breath, it also helps. What can I learn from that? You look back at that situation, that decision, and you ask the question, what can I learn from that? And you keep asking the question because sometimes your brain comes back and goes, nothing, you're stupid, you're an idiot. <laughs> and you go, okay, let's keep asking the question until uh, my brain starts to become a little bit more um, empowered, right? And so you keep asking the question, what can I learn from that? What can I learn from that? Until answers start coming. And answers will start coming. And as soon as you, they start coming, then you start beating yourself up. Because before that, you had yourself by the throat and you're bashing yourself against the wall and you're throwing yourself on the ground and you're jumping up and down yourself and kicking yourself in the face. And then suddenly you go, oh, oh, and you start brushing yourself off. Okay. As soon as you know what you can learn from it, you stop, you start be you stop beating yourself up. You, you pick yourself up and you kind of you know, fix, your fix yourself. And you, okay, compose yourself now. It's, it's not so bad, right? And then you ask the question, what empowering meaning can I give this? What empowering meaning can I give this? And you add meaning to it, an empowering meaning. You keep asking that question until empowering meaning comes. Sometimes you need perseverance, right? Sometimes things don't come straight away. Don't give up. Persevere with it. Ask, ask the empowering questions. What empowering meaning can I give this? Then after that, you ask the question, how can I integrate that learning into my life right now? Bring yourself to the present. How can I integrate that learning into my life right now? And uh, then, then you see ways that you can actually integrate that into your life, that learning, how that can empower you right there in the moment. And then you ask an even higher level question. You go, how can I now take that learning, that experience, that wisdom that I now have, and how can I share it with others? How can I contribute? You know, maybe I can write it in a book. Maybe I can tell people about it. Maybe I can... Uh, um, you know, sh sh demonstrate it some way in something I do, right? How can I share that with others? 
So maybe, maybe others don't make the same mistakes. Maybe others don't need to go through what you went through. Because you've gone through that, you've had the experience and then you become a mentor. Where you can show people the, the way that, oh, no, don't go that way, I went that way and this is what happened. But what I learned from it was this, this and this. Or help people that have already or may, also made that mistake and they're still beating themselves up buddy. You can go up and go, oh, you don't have to beat yourself up about this anymore. Look, ask these questions, right? So that's how you empower your past. No matter what your past is, you, you can change it because it's your perception of it changes. You might not be able to change the events, but you can change how you perceive the events. And that changes them because ultimately it's how you feel inside about things, right? So that's how you empower yourself. But what about the future? So the future, you're a... Uh, you're in your rocking chair. You project yourself into the future. <clears throat> so just say, for, why would you do this? So just say, for example, you're, um, you've got a big decision to make. Seems like a big decision anyway, right now. 20, 30 years down the line, you think, oh, it wasn't such a big decision. But right now, it seems like a big decision. And maybe there's some fear stopping you. Or maybe there's some life change. You know, the, you could say, well, you know, should I just completely up sticks and move across the country, move across the planet, change careers, change jobs, uh, change um, change my life in some way, right? It's a big decision sometimes, right? And sometimes fear can, fear can be stopping us. Fear can be stopping us. So then we uh, go, okay, well, let's take myself out of now. You project yourself into the future to an unspecified time, might be when you're 120 years old or something, sitting in your rocking chair. So you're sitting in your rocking chair at 120 years old and you're looking back at your life back to when you're 40 and uh, or whatever age you are right now and you say do I regret not making that decision or do I regret making that decision and of course you don't know exactly how it's going to work out but it's just the making of the decision right I generally look back at making the decision you know, do I do I regret following my dreams you know are you ever going to regret following your dreams? Um, and so you look back and you say, well, I see so you change your perspective of it. Your perspective completely changes in time, right? You're looking back 50 years, 100 years, whatever. And more often than not, making the decision, taking the action is what you want to do. More often than not, because it's a, there was an American guy, writer, wrote a few, few books, quite, quite clever. Mark Twain, that's his name. Um, he said something along the lines of, 20 years from now, you're going to regret more of the things you didn't do than the things you did do. So sail out of the safe harbor, so throw off the bow lines, sail out of the safe harbor, dream, explore, whatever. He said something along those lines. And it's very, very true. So go ahead and uh, do those exercises. They make a big difference to your life. They change your perspective. They change your perception. And the change in perception, that unlocks the secrets of the universe. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, leave us a comment. What do you think? Um, and I shall see you next time.